Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brett Madigan and I'm going to try and play Resident Evil 7. So this will be my first impressions for the game. Now I do want to mention before I start that I have played for about three to four hours on console, PS4, and I have to say that I'm fucking loving this game. Like I haven't said that in a while. This is a review copy of the PC version. But holy shit. I don't know. Like, I can't I can't say anything else right now, but I it, ugh, I just love it so much. But anyway, now also before I start, I do want I do have to mention that when I was starting the game, I did have or run into a few issues with I don't know whether it's got something to do with V-Sync, whether it has something to do with my graphics card overclock, but I've disabled V-Sync as well as my graphics card overclock, and I don't get any crashes anymore, fingers crossed, touch wood. But, um, oh, I've also turned down ambient occlusion from HBO Plus to SSAO, and yeah, I don't know what the cause is. I'm assuming that it has something to do with V-Sync as well as my graphics card overclock or a mixture of the two. But anyway, let's start the game. So, what is Resident Evil 7 and why do I even... Why... Oh. <laughs> um, honestly, Resident Evil 7 is probably one of the most interesting horror games that I've played in a while. And not only is the sound design still superb in the game Mia? but I'm still intrigued as to what the actual fuck is happening in this world right so basically what you'll find is that the events that took place in the demo are in this game or are in the final bit of the game but basically they're in reverse right so right where you see that um Actually, I won't say anything. You'll 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 see what I mean. Now, the reason why I'm playing from here Thank God I found is you. that it's me, it's Ethan. Ethan. This is where it starts to sort Ethan? of get real right. weird. You shouldn't be here. And I mean? love it. You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Oh, if I keep sniffing Did and stuff, it's because I have a cold. Did he see you? Hey, who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now. When a chick says daddy, when they're not your dad. Oh, that weirds me out so much. Oh my god. <laughs> like you have no idea how Someplace weird that safe. is to me. You wanna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? I appreciate the non-terrible dialogue, though. Like, there is one one section that I don't know whether I'm going to get into in this video, where the dialogue is kind of like, yeah, that accent is totally fucking fake. Please don't do that again. But other than that, it seems pretty solid. What? What is this place? What they do to you? Not now. As to try and forcing, to or first. sorry, as to them trying to I force the player. To feel claustrophobic in this bit here, just hurry the hell up, man. I just want to stab some shit. Let's do it. We've already been playing for 20 minutes. Let's fucking stab something. Mia, we have to talk. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. It would have been interesting to see. That interaction, I'm telling you everything or hear her reaction, or the we have to go this way. Her talking about her being alive and all that sort of stuff. I don't know. I think that would be kind of interesting. Mia, but uh, you sure yeah, you know you're going? there was Family one thing that you'll notice here is that, or what Capcom have started to do, is that. If you want to keep going through the game and you don't want to like, I don't know, go through the cutsceney bits or sequences, or, sorry, scripted sequences, sorry, I'm all over the place today. Um, this plank is actually covering this sort of walkway bit. So I think that's kind of interesting because we didn't actually hear it move. But if you don't trigger her section, 
then you'll see it there, which is a little interesting to me. Because right now I'm thinking that this chick is working with them, right? Room. Soon you'll There's figure out here. I'm sure what she is. But I'm trying not to give away anything, so obviously this this bit is going to be filled with spoilers. So if you don't want any spoilers or anything like that, please, you know, don't click off the video. But this is basically where it starts to get pretty fucking weird. Okay, let's trigger the dude. There we go. See? That there, that, I don't know, that sound didn't really sound like it was enough sound to portray someone breaking in. It was just sort of like a drop of, I don't know, planks of wood or something like that. I don't know. Like, there's a few sounds in the game where it's kind of like... I don't know if that fits. And when a game does sound really, really well, that's something that I'm going to pick up on. Because <clears throat> I just love sound in games. Like, sound design is probably one of the best ways to deal with a horror game. And so far, I feel that this game does it really, really well. But let's see what happens if I go to this door. Nothing. Okay. So, in the demo, you would have noticed that if you went to that door, uh, you started to get all, like, black goo all over you and stuff. I don't know when that happens in this, in the in the main game, because I've played, obviously, three, three or four hours of the game, and I haven't seen that happen yet. So, I'm not too sure how far in that section is, but you'll see, like, a lot of the stuff that was in the demo isn't uh, in the final bit of the game. Which is really interesting to me. So it's this way. Hello? 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 Wow! Oh, this is so weird. Ah! <coughs> Hey, bitch! Hello! How's it going? Whoop, oh, she's super strong. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Get the fuck off me! Go away! <laughs> fuck you! Oh! Wait. Run! Oh, fuck! Oh, you crazy bitch! Ah! Uh, stop hitting me! Go away! Ow! I can hear her. Okay, so I it's don't know if Mia is fully like transitioned into one of those like weird crazy dudes but she keeps going in and out I deserve this which is really interesting to me so obviously the virus is sort of or whatever it is is trying to take over her body in that but it still hasn't fully developed Where is the knife? Um... Do I have the knife? No. Where'd the knife go? No idea. Anyway. Yeah, there's certain bits like that where it's kind of like... This bitch is using a weapon on me. Why the fuck can I pick it up? Hello. Okay. Of course, hatchet, right? Fuck you! 
What? You? Oh! No! Look. Oh, bitch. Bitch. Fuck. Off. Crazy. I'm Fuck dead. you. I can never leave. Fuck out. Why didn't you react to that swipe? Like sometimes they do, and then and it leaves obvious marks on her. But other times it doesn't. That in games, oh, it just pisses me off. If I whack a fucking bitch with a hatchet, she has to fucking like react to that shit because otherwise it just feels weird. And this is what I was talking about. Why can't I pick up that shit? Why can't I pick up the hatchet? Why? It's a fucking weapon. Pull it out of her bloody neck so I can actually use it. Ah! You know? You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? Dude, what the fuck is going on? Don't give me shit for my choice of beverage. <laughs> Oh, no. fuck. Why did that scare the shit out of me? It's a phone! Oh. Hello? Oh, now I can pick it up. Of course. And see, here, she obviously got up and ran away. But you only heard the door open. You didn't hear her actually get up. Or hear her, uh... Footsteps. So now I have to figure out how to get to the the attic. Ah, oh, yes, I remember. Uh, I can't equip that. That's right. Come on, let me use it. There we go. Hey, crazy bitch. I don't know how to equip without, like, clicking one because it, it uses that, like, D-pad thing. There's no D-pad on PC, guys. <laughs> don't know if you know that yet, Capcom. But there isn't. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. <sighs> Bitch. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah. It fucking hurts. <laughs> Fuck. Do I have to hold it? I think I have to hold it. What is she doing? She just pulls the chainsaw out of nowhere. Let's see how you feel. Oh! Now, my theory about the that like finger thing and like the hand in the demo was that you lose your hand. So it's sort of like a I don't know what you call it. I'm, I'm lost for words right now. I don't know what you call that. But like an indication is something could happen with a hand of sorts. Um. Use. I don't know why he does that. It's just like a full waste of medic stuff. Can I pick up my hand? Oh, yes! To go into the attic. Quickly save it. But yeah, this game, I don't know why, but it still sort of has that manual save as well as automatic saves. I'm not too sure why why they've done that. I 
maybe to allow the player to save it in between sections where it doesn't auto save. But it pretty much auto saves every like new section, so no idea, mate. Uh, clicking one every time is a bit annoying. Handgun, thank you. Okay, fine. Really? Fuck you, man again. Hello? Crazy bitch! Where are you? Crazy bitch! Come out to play! Hello? For real? You're gonna call me while I'm playing this shit? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, any more things that I can destroy? Nope. Ah. Really? <laughs> okay, so how many ammo do I have? 39, holy shit. See, in the demo, they gave you like 12 bullets. <laughs> Oh. Nope. Goodbye. Goodbye, bitch. Fuck you. Nope. Oh, fuck. Oh. No. I am responsible. Oh, shit. I don't like the crosshair, how it sort of like goes for a second, like it sort of goes fine and then it just goes big. That just weirds me out. Hello? Where are you? Hello? Ugh. Miss Crazy? What you doing? Real old? No, not yet. Real old? It's up to me. Where are you? Hello? No. Oh, there you are. No. No choice. Ugh, fuck. Ah. Fuck are you? What? That last one didn't hit her? Bullshit! The core. The core must be destroyed. Excuse me? What are you talking about? The core must be destroyed? What? See, like a chainsaw! Why can't I pick it up? Because that shit would come in handy, not gonna lie. Of course, we can't go that way. Alright. Uh, oh. Well, Fuck! Hey, dude! <laughs> Pretty sure she wasn't there, but okay. So, yeah. That's Resident Evil 7. Um, first impressions... It's a fucking crazy game. It's really cool. And the sound design is just amazing. So, so far, I'm really enjoying the game. But I hope that I do find some issues with it because I don't want to be this like, oh, it's so good. I don't want to be one of those guys. I do want to find issues with it at some point that aren't based on performance because originally with V-Sync or graphics card overclock, the game was crashing and all that sort of stuff. Don't you die on us now? You have it hasn't happened yet, so... And they staple your arm back together. Don't know how that works, but hopefully they'll explain that at some point. But anyway, my name is Brett Madigan, and I'll see you guys next time.